What's up everybody? This is Alicio. Just want to do a quick video. On this video, I kind of want to show what I brought down to South Beach. I came down to South Beach uh, to create some content uh, for a business and I thought to myself, man, let me kind of just show like what I brought. It's kind of minimal, but it's kind of a little bit overkill at the same time, but I kind of just wanted to be prepared for any kind of scenario within my scope of what I do. Um, so yeah, um, I have basically this right here. So all this basically fits like in the passenger seat of my car very comfortably. So it's not even like tight or nothing. So we'll go through this bag first. All right. So let's see here. Um, open that up and I keep a piece of foam right here just for extra layer of protection because it's pretty packed inside here. All right. So first thing is the cameras. I use Canon M50s, right? This is one of my favorite cameras because they're so easy to use. Entry level mirrorless camera that has options for interchangeable lenses. As you see right here, I have the Sigma Trio, Sigma 16, Sigma 30. You know, it's just very easy. If you're trying to really get into like content creation and you want to find a budget camera, I'm talking all three of these I got for under $400, $500. Like this is the way to go and you can use it for content creation, filming, um, live streaming. It does have its limitations, which is why um, I'll get to that in a minute, but which is why I'm um, kind of slowly transitioning over to Sony as a more serious content creator. But that was a tangent I didn't mean to go off on. So these are the cameras, right? So I have three of them. I have this one, which I use one of these lenses with. I have one with a 35 millimeter, one with a 50 millimeter. Right. And uh, yeah. And then I have a stream deck. If you want to live stream, I have a Cal digit T3. This thing is amazing. This thing is amazing, man. You can pretty much hook up any peripheral to your uh, laptop uh, with this type of uh, connectivity. This Cal digit. I have an LED light for backlighting, just some color RGB. I meant not LED. Well, it is LED as well. Um, I have in the back side of here, I have the, uh, what is this? The M1 MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. I have the um, iPad. Uh, it's not the M1, but it's the iPad Pro. Um, that's in there. And this top part, I just have a bunch of stuff. Not that organized yet. Um, like I have an ND filter right here. A power source with a USB for charging and just whatnot. And then just like um, cables and stuff. Like it's not that organized. I can definitely get a lot more organized. If you guys have any tips on that, feel free. I'm still pretty new to all this. Um, so yeah, well, as far as like content creation, seriously. Um, and let's see here for audio. I have oh, there's another ND filter. Just goes on the Sigma 16. ND filter. I got the case for that in the car. I need to put it in the case. But for audio, we have the Rode NTG. It literally connects right to your camera, uh, right? Also connects to your phone. If you need it on your phone, it connects directly to your computer. This little microphone is amazing. Also, we have the um, Rode Wireless Go 2s. These are amazing. Same thing. They connect to your camera. They connect to your cell phone. They connect to your computer. Both of these I wanted to make sure I get because both of these are basically like little interfaces as well. Like as soon as you hook them up to your devices, they uh, are recognized by the devices, um, your computer, your cell phone. And you can control the game very easily on both of these. Man, even on here, you can control the game. Very it's like these are really good mics. So I got both of these for like a shotgun situation and for like a lab situation. Yeah, and I even have the uh, Rode Wireless Go mic interview, Go, whatever. And I use that sometimes too. So for lighting, I just have two cheap LED bicolor panels. Um, and then I have three stands, one for the camera, two for the lights. Um, now with this being that I use Ecamm, 
I can actually connect these cameras directly to my computer, no capture card. Ecamm recognizes them as webcams. So that's kind of why I will probably always keep some M50s around because if I have to do like a client shoot or an interview or some type of something for a client, I can connect three cameras to my Mac M1 MacBook Pro or any Ecamm you know, device that runs Ecamm and it will, it will recognize those no capture card needed. Um, I do have this small little camera bag that I have a, um, I just got this, a, um, Alpha 6100 Sony with a 30 millimeter Sigma on here. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Like a lot of my little running gun shooting with on this, on this trip, I'll just have like the Rode Wireless Go hooked up right here, or I'll have the NTG hooked up right here. Um, I have this cool little bi-color um, panel. It's pretty cool. It's like bi-color. I have that right there. It's like like a running gun. I'm really forcing myself to learn Sony's, like the menu system. And the best way to learn something is just to get in there and start using it. So I've had this for like a couple months. I got it for still $500. I actually just bought an A6600 as well for $500. That's a almost $1,500 camera that I got for like almost $1,000 off. Uh, so I got a still, so I got that. So I said, let me force myself to learn how to use these Sonys because they do have their advantages, especially for content creation. One that I really like that I've been using is the in-body charging. So you can charge this thing in-body, right? USB, which is just insane. So I just like keep this cord right here handy. And like last night, I put it in there. I woke up this morning, it was 100% charge. No, I, I char started charging it this morning when I jumped into the shower. I jumped into the shower and did some other stuff and it was now it's 100% charge, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, see, 100% charge. So to have that in body, you don't really realize how important that is until you start like running and gunning. To have that in body camera charging is wow. I mean, think about it. If not, you have to look at me. I have to walk around with all these Canon M50 batteries. You know what I'm saying? I got three Canon M50s and I got way more batteries than this. I must didn't grab them all. I probably got double this amount at home. So this kind of, that kind of kills all of this, you know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. And I still do have Sony batteries just in case I'm in a position where I can't charge up. But yeah, so this is a little bit overkill for the content I was creating this week or today or yesterday. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where like, it's still, in my opinion, like I said, it's still pretty minimal. All this can fit in the passenger seat very comfortably. Um, so yeah. Oh, another thing is I like to get hard cases for like a lot of my stuff, hard waterproof cases. So like the road wireless goals didn't come with this case. I bought it separately, but it's waterproof. It's hard shell. And I'm real big on protecting your investment. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to... This is more like a video for me, vlog style video, that maybe I can look back in a couple years and just be like, man, <laughs> look what I was using. And I'll probably be using something totally different. And my content will probably be looking a whole lot better. But, yeah, just kind of wanted to share this with y'all. I'm going to just go ahead and throw this up on the channel. If you got any questions about anything, keep in mind I'm learning just like you. But I'll be more than glad to answer any questions that I could answer. And we can learn and grow together on our content creation journey. So, yeah, I'm down in South Beach. I'm at Pharrell's Hotel, the Good Times Hotel. I'll show you around. This is the hotel. I really didn't do much in here last night. I came in and I just kind of went straight to sleep. <laughs> well, I did a live stream with Luis, Mr. Camera Junkie. So, yeah, this is the hotel. I mean, the rooms are actually really small rooms. They're, they remind me of like... Um, like uh cruise rooms like the cruise rooms so they're really small um but this is like a day bed slash bed um there goes all my stuff on there yep uh shot the ecam live <laughs> ecam live this is just my clothes bag i put my clothes and my other laptop in here business laptop yeah uh, tv so yeah we're out in south beach try to end this before 10 minutes but that's what it looks like maybe i get out and get some um video of the beach that'd be dope all right y'all thanks for watching just kind of wanted to show y'all that love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one peace